Hello everyone. Today coming out of the DRC and the East African community. The entry of the DRC into the EAC, What Opportunities, taken from Iwaka newspaper. Since his inauguration on January 24th, 2019, uh, 2019 President Felix Shisekedi has made it a priority to focus his regional policy on cooperation and integration. He also pledged to work closely with his peers to restore peace and security in the east of his country. Thus, in June 2019, President Shisekedi requested the integration of his country into the East African Community, EAC, quote, whose majority of member countries border and with which our citizens in the east of the country have engaged in significant economic exchanges for several decades, unquote. He subsequently made visits to the member countries of the community. One way to walk the talk to show that his request is really close to his heart, an operation of seduction and persuasion. This diplomatic opening will be welcomed by the heads of state of the region. The DRC received a green light from the Council of Ministries of the EAC on November 22nd to join this sub-regional organization during the 44th Extraordinary Meeting held in Arusha. Quote, there is a feeling of belonging and attachment to the EAC on the social, economic, historical, cultural, and geographical levels, unquote specified the report of the Council of Ministries. The final decision will be taken by the Summit of Heads of State. According to a diplomat in the EAC, they can only praise the conclusions of their quote-unquote servants. Quote, the entry of the DRC into the EAC, what opportunities for the community? Unquote. That's the big question that torments the view from the announcement of the news. Regional integration should present strengths and opportunities to each member state. In particular, administrative facilities and the reduction of the cost for the commercial and economic activities of the citizens, the facilitation of the mobility of the citizens. The DRC should benefit above all from the reduction in customs tariffs for goods received at the ports of Mombasa and Dar es Salaam. Quote, by joining the DRC, the community will open the corridor from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean, as well as from north to south, thus expanding the economic potential of the region. The Congolese population, estimated at around 90 million inhabitants, has the potential to help broaden market and investment opportunities, unquote, said EAC General Secretary, Dr. Peter Mathuki. However, the challenges are enormous. Alongside tensions and mistrust between member states, the security situation remains worrying, particularly in Eastern DRC, where the exploitation and illegal trade of natural resources fuel an illegal economy which in turn maintains the presence and activism of armed groups. For all EAC member states to benefit from DRC membership, mutual trust should characterize them. Also, stability in the DRC would be a factor of the regional stability. Its implementation is not the responsibility of the DRC alone, but of all the countries of the community. In short, I adopt the point of view of an expert in international relations. Quote, regional integration is a vital imperative, but how do you navigate the web, web of overlapping and sometimes competing organizations? And beware, unquote. This is very good news. Uh, the, economically, this is gonna benefit everyone involved because the uh, East Coast nations like Tanzania, Rwanda, you could say, Burundi, you could say, even though they're more inland, but Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya, 
will benefit from a bigger market because uh, the, just the the country of uh, the one country of DRC, I think, is about the same population as all of those countries uh, combined. So that gives them a, a, a larger market and it's a new market uh, that's not developed uh, very much. So uh, a lot of the, they'll be able to export a lot of their goods to, to uh, the DRC. And without the tariffs, uh, the DRC will be able to benefit uh, by, more, by access, uh, a cheaper access to the Indian Ocean. And by the same token, East African countries will have access to without paying tariffs to the Atlantic Ocean, uh, uh, which is where the DRC. It, it's only a small uh, coast, unfortunately, for the DRC. But they, the DRC, does have uh, a coastline uh, on the Atlantic Ocean. So it's a win-win situation when it comes to economics. the The challenge, however, is the the challenge is also the benefit uh, for, especially for the DRC, which which uh, desperately needs security. Uh, and I've been harping on this for for a very a very long time. The uh, the challenge for the the East Coast nations will be to accept uh, a new member nation that has extreme security problems, probably the, the most security problems in, in all of Africa. The Sahel is obviously having major problems uh, of late, but historically the DRC is, is the poster child of, of lack of security. Um, but the, the DRC will be able to benefit from hopefully uh, a, a, a robust, integrative security uh, apparatus that, that is uh, brought about by the strong uh, East African, East Coast African uh, uh, nation uh, uh, armed militaries like Kenya, Rwanda, uh, I, I don't know uh, much about Burundi, but Tanzania, I think, is, is, has, uh, uh, has good security, too. It has a good history of security. So they hopefully, and I'm quite sure, they will be able to integrate their strong security postures into the, uh, the security needs of, of the DRC, which will, will greatly help, uh, and it should help, uh, the DRC. So I see it as, as a, a major challenge, but I also see it as, as uh, a win-win situation.